Hello, friend. I'm glad you called. This is Catherine Ponder sharing with you this prosperity thought. Jacob planned his way to success, and so can you. In Jacob's success covenant, he first specifically asked God for the help he needed, which included every good thing. He asked for guidance, definite financial increase and supply, and reconciliation with his family at a time of estrangement. Then in part two of his success covenant, Jacob agreed what he would do to help fulfill his part of the agreement. Jacob agreed to return to God's work a tenth of everything he received financially. Jacob's success covenant worked so well that he became one of the Bible's early millionaires. All that he asked for in part one of his success covenant came to him and much more. You may invoke a success covenant for your own life too. As you do so, declare often these words, I am putting my trust in God for my supply. I am not depending upon persons or conditions for my prosperity. I put God first financially. I tithe my way to prosperity. You will enjoy declaring these same words for others. You are putting your trust in God for your supply. You are not depending upon persons or conditions for your prosperity. You put God first financially. You tithe your way to prosperity. If you would like a copy of Jacob's Success Covenant, I will be glad to send it to you. Just write the non-denominational Unity Church Worldwide at Post Office Box 1709, Palm Desert, California, 92260, and request it. And now, dear friend, remember that Jacob planned his way to success by making a success covenant, and so can you. Thank you for calling Prosperity Dallas Office.